Before we jump into today's video, make sure you guys go to the website right now. Go check out the coffee, go check out some merch. It is gonna go out fast. The shirts, once they're out, they're out for good, but the coffee is made to order, so go grab yourself a, a nice good uh, bag of coffee and all motor, medium roost, light them up, light roost, dark roast, and capital apple. All the other ones are already crushed. We destroyed like four bags already, so go grab it now. Let's get into today's video. Third gear, 50. This has been a long time coming. There's the Hellcat. She's looking good, bro. Full bolt on as you can get before ripping the blower off to port it. <laughs> so how much do you think it's making right now, honestly? Like a reasonable number, that, like you would think. 820. 820? To the wheels, right? On a good day. On a good day. So let's just say 800 to the wheels. No, no, dude, this thing is sick. It actually looks really good. I'm, mad. I'm actually sad that they're getting rid of the Hellcats. It is sad. I mean, everyone jokes on them, and I do too. I mean, it's just all in good fun. But these cars are sick. I mean, these, these are like, I mean, they started it, really. I mean, they just came out with stupid horsepower, and they dodged literally through everything at it. 707 everything. I'm waiting for the minivan to come out. Might have to pick that one up. So he's giving me the key to a Hellcat. I'm a little nervous about this, but let's see what she's about. Well, she is minty. She is clean. Wow, you got some trust. You got a lot of trust in me. Well, we're in a Dodge, boys. We're in a Dodge. So we're in the Hellcat right now. Um, this is def definitely different. 500 horsepower Apollo to a 800 wheel horsepower Hellcat. Oh my god, dude. That blower one? <laughs> I know why this is addicting. This is insane. So what do these cars shift at? I mean, I see Redline right almost at 6,000. Right around there, 55. Really? No, this car just feels different. It definitely feels like a big muscle car. Bulky. Dude, she's... On the turns. Yeah, she's thick. So what, like, I mean, I know with these tires, like, I know every car is different, but how, like, does this hook up with this, like, tire setup? Like, so what's, like, an ideal roll I should hit it at where it will hook up decent, but it'll have to maybe pedal it a little bit? Like 50, 60? 50, 50, 60 will hook up. 50, it'll fight you at times. It'll swing, but nothing too crazy. All right, we'll try a 60 for sake and just see how it feels. Well, it looks like we just found another Hellcat. What are the odds? <laughs> yeah, this is a big body car, dude. Oh my god. Dude, these things are heavy. You can feel it wanted to go. I like kind of eased into it. But damn. Alright, maybe we can hit it one more. That felt pretty good. It felt strong. But I knew we were coming up to a turn, so I didn't want to like really stay into it too hard. No, oh, I see the little gauge select. I think she'll be a good run with Apollo. This thing's definitely got power on the big end. I could feel it stay strong pulling. Apollo will nose off around like 130. 130 is kind of where like the all motors like, eh, like I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm tapped out. But you could just feel like this. I mean, I could have went down one more gear and hit it harder, but new car, gotta feel it out. But it, it feels strong. It definitely does feel strong. 
I'd be curious to see. Shit, we might not. I mean, I might just have to send it and run you on pump gas. You just might have. I might have to. That car feels great. Have you weighed it on a scale with like all the bolt ones, full weight, full gas? No, not yet. If I had a guess, roughly around 44, 45. Love to try to slide one of these cars if they were like bone stock. Yeah. I, I mean, it just it, you feel like it's like it's balanced, but the weight's there, but the power's there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Yeah, the blower wine's insane. Um, that would be a major selling point for the Hellcat for me is just the pure sound. The sound's amazing. I wish these motors could rev out higher. I'm just so used to the Coyotes. And like it, like it made me nervous seeing that it's only gonna shift like right there. I was like, oh shoot. Cause I'm so used to just standing on it and letting it bury itself all the way. I'm telling you dude, like there's so many differences between the cars. Like Apollo, like the way it hits versus like, I, I stabbed it, but not like 100%, I could've went down one more gear. But my car, when it hits just for it being NA, it's just so snappy and it just like, bam, right on the hit. And then second gear from a 40, it shifts so fast. We'll try right here. You said a 50 again? Third gear, 50? So y'all just saw my first ever drive and a full bolt on Hellcat. I mean, that was awesome. So big thanks, big thanks to you, brother. Honestly, go check out his Instagram, go give him a follow, plug him right there. If you don't see that, it'll be in the description of today's video. This is a badass car and I cannot wait till I get Apollo on E85 on a tire so we can actually put these two up against each other. Like I was telling him, I think it will be a good run from like a 40. So a 40 to like 120, I think it's going to be very close if you hook up, but on the big end, this car is going to come right around me like I'm sitting still. 100%. I already know. But this is badass. Can we pop the hood? Check out underneath. I love those stripes. I would get this exact spec, for real. I like the red. I like the black stripes. Brakes felt amazing on it. Are these the newer wheels? Like off like the Chargers? Yeah. Hell yeah. So you did the upper, upper you said, lower? Upper, lower. What size blowers do they have on the Hellcats? Aren't they like a two liter or something? That's a two liter. Engine bay is like tighter than I thought. I feel like it'd be much bigger. No, you don't got no room. <laughs> you really got no room. Say, like, how hard is it to put headers on this car? It looks tight. Yep. It looks tight as shit down there. I mean, I would hate to have to change the alternator on this car. That thing is buried. I mean, it is a clean setup. Dodge do does do it up nice. I mean, everything is like in a clean spot. I mean, that's what I like about Dodge, like, the way they do some things. Like, you see everything's hidden. Like, I'll pop the hood on Apollo and show you, but, like, they have lines running everywhere on the Mustangs. But, you know, it is what it is. Brakes are freaking huge. God damn. These are, like, the same size as the GT500, I would assume. Maybe the, the new 500 might be a hair bigger. But you can have big brakes up front and big brakes in the rear. So what is this, a 17, the smallest you can go? Yeah, same as my car, 17, and that's that's it. Shit, you have a way bigger rear brake than I do. And you can tell this boy races, guys. That thing is caked of rubber. The hood just fall? <laughs> That's a badass car, dude. Thank you again for letting me drive it. This, is, this has been a hell of a day. This actually made my trip that I got to drive a Hellcat. I'm literally going to be telling everyone all day long I drove a Hellcat and you guys didn't. Should have came. So, first time seeing Apollo in person. Your thoughts on the CJ setup? It's clean. Everywhere. There is wires everywhere, hoses. I mean, Ford really don't care. They don't cover it up. Nope. Like you can see this versus the Dodge. I mean, side by side, it is. I mean, they do got some stuff going on, but it's all where it needs to be. That's all that matters. Nice. I hate this stuff too. All the wires exposed. I mean, not really exposed, but you can just see them. I wish they could have tucked them up somewhere nice. And I mean, I feel like there was definitely better stuff to do. I mean, I covered up. I even ordered this piece right here just to cover up like the master cylinder and all that for the brake stuff and all the lines right there. And th this isn't even factory, that was aftermarket. Just to hide a little bit. It made it look a lot more cleaner. Now what you need? A Whipple? Shit. 
All right, well, maybe if I lose bad, I might have to get a Whipple, and then we're gonna have to run it back. But now, see that shake and bake sticker? That adds about 75 to 100 horsepower. Easy, easy. Nah, but I'll be excited to see these two go at it. I would really like to try. I just wish I had e uh, like a good, I wish I brought the welds. If I knew so everyone would have extra E85, I, I definitely would have. Cause I mean, I could put them in the rack, but every every year I came down here, I wanted to race someone and no one wanted to race me. Literally no one. I'd be cruising around, no one wanted just to kick it and get it on. You know what I loved about these when these came out was, yeah, the intake right there. Like I thought that was so cool. I, I saw the one video of the guy holding up a cigarette and, when, and it was sucking in and I was like, there's no way that's right there. That's cool how they did that. I like the little things that different manufacturers do. It is sick, it's different. It definitely is different. All right, so we're gonna go show him how Apollo feels. Give him the NA life hit. We ain't gonna go as wild as the Hellcat because you know, we're on pump gas, we on a street tire, but I would love to get this car back on the 85 and run the Hellcat. I think we're gonna have to get this done for y'all. I want to see it, and I know he wants to see it, and I know y'all want to see it. All right, so I got to show him all these different modes that Apollo has, which is absolutely insane. So always put the gear selector in sport, want to do the paddle shifters, and then I go to the mode, put it right in track mode, and this is the mode I usually race in. Um, I could leave it in auto, like it will downshift now, but once I click the paddle shifters, it's mainly on paddle shifters. I could push it into drive like how you did with your car, um, but for some reason my car doesn't really like it that much It wants to fall on its face when I do that But they say it's some people do it and say it's good But I think there's a way to tune it um, because the line pressure is different from sport to drive So sometimes that can throw it off But I usually just use paddle shifters cars not that fast where I'm gonna rev it over rev it All right, so what did we do a 60 the first time with you? 60. All right, so I'll give you my 60 So, this race is 100% locked in, 40 and a 50 roll, it's locked. Apollo versus Big Red. I think you should keep Big Red. If you don't chew Big Red, then F you, you know? Frankie Bobby, I think that was funny. So, I think it'd be a good race for real, like we were just talking about in the car. Apollo is definitely lighter, you can feel it. Um, it just stays in the power band, but this car's got the power on the big end that's gonna just reel me in. But he said it felt fast. I mean, he said it felt fast for NA. And I'm surprised you said that. This is an 850 horsepower car. So, give a look. I got, you guys got to give some street cred to Apollo. Apollo ain't no slouch. It ain't no slouch. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Thank you again, bro, for letting me. I mean, that was a true blessing. I cannot say thank you enough. You uh, you popped my Hellcat cherry. <laughs> now I want a Hellcat. But till next video, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Drop a like on this video. Get it to a thousand likes for me, please, so we can line up and race Apollo versus Big Red. Till next video, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.